happening, everybody? It's your boy, Ken O'Shawn, with the world famous, do, 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 the one and only Built vs. Bought. And on today, I have the pleasure of introducing to the world Project Lawn Dart. Yes, this is a 81 T-top Fox body that I have been following for a while. The owner and I have spoken with each other, and I am going to get sent these videos show them to you all do some voiceovers over this car but the goal is and the plan is is that once this car is finished man i want to be able to debut this car at a show with another car that i'm also showing on this channel as well so fingers crossed that both cars will be ready by that time but until we get to that date hey we'll just keep showing the car on the channel and so as you all are viewing this video that i have right here we're going to get into the actual builder um, of this car and this car is located in Pennsylvania if I'm not mistaken um, and the shop that is doing it is a shop by the name of East Speed I believe and um, we're going to get into that portion of the video they're going to talk about all the things that they're doing with the car and so you're kind of seeing just a little bit of the work that is done but they're going to get into more detail about it but as you can even see with this video no expense left behind no boat left behind everything has been done redone i mean from rear ends to you look at the undercarriage you can tell that a lot of attention to detail was paid to this car and one of the things that is is always great is knowing that hey if you're gonna go this far like do it right the first time the right way if you can if you're able to do that and hey this is gonna be one of those bills that we gotta look out for next year i mean a lot of a lot of i call this type of stuff jewelry um under this car but to build an 81 t-top i mean obviously there are a lot of things that you're going to have to take into consideration but with the motor that they're putting in this car with the transmission that they're putting in this car this is going to be one of those builds that's still going to be a fun car and not a rocket ship to the moon it's not going to have like 2500 horsepower this is one of those builds where the owner is going to be able to enjoy it drive it but then also have some amazing things like ac maybe do a radio i don't know just yet but it's going to be a great build as you can see there's just a lot of level of detail and then still understand that the car is still a work in progress and so like i said this is one of those clean builds like the color out of control beautiful like this is just next level right here and it's one of those colors that you don't even see that often and so to have this one-off looking like this, I think it's going to be an amazing build, but I'm going to stop talking, and now I'm going to allow the builder to come in and tell you a little bit more about this car. Hey, guys doing? I'm Steve with eSpeed here in Schwenksville, PA. Uh, we're a performance shop, do anything domestic. Uh, it looks like we only work on Fords if you see the shop. We do have a Corvette under the cover, um, but we do a ton with the Coyote platform. John, uh, John met us coming here to, to buy a Coyote motor to swap into a car, um, and it turned into... Uh, not just a coyote swap, I mean a complete overhaul of an 81 T-top car that was cool to begin with. Uh, it's gonna be over the top. Uh, we got a Gen 1 coyote motor out of a Boss, um, low miles motor, and uh, he's not stopping there. We're, we're gonna be putting a Gen 5 three liter Whipple on it. Um, it's all in the mock-up process. Uh, th this car is gonna make some serious power. Um, full interior gonna be redone by, by another company that John works with. Uh, we're mocking up all the suspension, the motor. Uh, John did decide to go with a, a Ride Tech air suspension kit along with a mini tub just to make our lives a little more difficult and fun. Um, but everything's in the mock up stages. If we walk around the car, we're trying to get an idea of wheel fitment. Uh, John's going to do a set of custom one off wheels. Um, this thing's going to be real cool. We're real excited to have this project here and, uh, and, and give John his, uh, make his dreams come true. Um, it, it's going to be pretty wild. Uh, it's, it's very early on, um, but it's, it's starting to come together fast and, and, uh, seeing the end result, what it's going to be is, uh, it's very exciting. So we're going to take a walk around the car, look at some stuff. Uh, we did do a UPRK member. Um, we found they fit real good with ultimate headers or some of the best swap headers we've ever worked with. Uh, their fit is amazing. Their, their quality is amazing. Their customer service is second to none. Um, Ride Tech air suspension up front. Uh, your typical Fox body conversion for five lugs, some SN95 spindles. Uh, we're gonna have Willwood brakes all the way around. Calipers are out now, getting painted to cut to match the color of the car. Um, the K member, all everything will get blown back apart, sent back out for paint and powder coat. Uh, the car is gonna be a black and gold theme. It's gonna it's gonna look pretty sharp when it's done. 
um, kind of get an idea how the car is going to sit when it's aired out. Again, we're just trying to figure out wheel and tire fitment for the back because we want to do it once. Um, everything's bolted to a new Moser rear that we had built just for John in this project. So uh, we won't have any, any problems handling the, the 700 plus wheel horsepower this car is going to make when it's done. Um, and the cool thing about it is, is John will be able to get in it and just drive it. It's, it's going to be reliable. It's going to make a ton of power. Um, it's going to look awesome. It's going to sound awesome. And uh, there will not be another one like it. I can guarantee it. Uh, this this build is is over the top. So um, putting the power to the ground from the Coyote is going to be a new T56 Magnum um, that we got from D and D Performance out in Michigan. Don always always takes care of us. We didn't go with a, a conventional control pack. Um, we want to have a little more control over things. We went with a fast system. Um, our lead tech here is, is very good with that tuning uh, platform and that software. Uh, we can get away from the drive-by wire and, and do a, an actual throttle cable, so we're not relying on, a, on electronics to control our pedals. Um, you know, we've done them in other higher horsepower applications. Uh, they're just a, a good company to work with. Chris, our, our lead tech, is very familiar with them um, and their software programs. And, uh, you know, we did a bunch of research with and communication with FAST beforehand uh, to make sure it was the right product. We looked at Fast, we looked at Holly, we looked at the Ford Performance stuff um, and uh, came to the conclusion that the Fast uh, was gonna be the best bet for what we were trying to do here, so. Excellent. Uh, All right, so coming underneath the car, uh, we went with Ultimate Headers. Um, we've got past experience with these on swap cars. Uh, their fitment is amazing. Um, they, their fitment with the UPRK members, unreal. I mean, they fit like a glove. It's tight, but, but they fit great. Um, the rest of the exhaust is going to be all custom done. We use Stainless Brothers piping. Um, their stuff welds phenomenally. Um, we got some FP mufflers going in here, FP performance. I know those guys are real excited about that. Uh, being that it's a T-top, uh, we wanted to make sure the chassis was stiffened up, so we got all kinds of stiffler stuff in here, um, from their subframe connectors to their webbing, um, all the cross, the cross members, everything stifflers. Uh, those guys do real nice work, have a real nice product. Um, Putting the power to the ground, we're going to go through, we got a new T56 Magnum here, um, so it, it's going to handle all the power he's got. Uh, custom 3 inch aluminum drive shaft going back, and then all that's going to come into a new uh, an 8.8 from Moser. Uh, we got their 33 spline wave track unit inside, um, upgraded to their aluminum diff cover with a girdle, 33 spline axles obviously. Um, car's going to be stopped by some wheel woods front and back. Uh, you know, lots of power and need, needs a good stop, you know, to be able to stop the car. Willwood's, uh, Willwood's our go-to anymore. Um, and then this is just mock-up pieces, but we are doing ride tech air suspension. Um, we got different heights for, you know, air it out, ride height, just so we can check for wheel and tire fitment. Um, we are actually going to go, John's going to go with a, a custom one-off set of wheels from Forge Line. Uh, we've been going back and forth with our sales rep with some design ideas. Um, and they're going to do some some one-off design just for this car. It'll be the only set out there. Um, we're looking to squeeze at least a 13-inch wide wheel back here, uh, so it's it's going to have some meats underneath of it, um, helping get all this power to the ground. Um, other than that, some fuel system. We went with an Aeromotive uh, system with one of their big in-tank pumps. Uh, we're going to have dash eight or dash 10 feed, dash eight return. Um, should be plenty of fuel to feed this thing. When we go back inside the car, um, we're using a Dakota Digital Dash. Uh, they have all the right modules to interface with our FAST system, uh, make it a more seamless install. Everything's gonna work together like it came like that from the factory. Um, so we're pretty excited to see that. Uh, again, real excited to see this car when it comes to, to the end product. I know sometimes, again, it's, it's hard to picture it all now, but um, it's gonna be awesome and that that's, not even the right word to use there's there's not really a word to use this this car's going to be very special um again we're, we're pumped to see the outcome uh, we're excited to do the build it, it's a it's a lot of work but at the end it's, it's going to be well worth it this car's going to be very very special very unique there will not be another one like it um and it, it's you know we can't wait to see the end of it uh not sure how many people are going to pick up on the little things but they got uh we got the free fenders here uh, and rear quarters, and then actually grab uh, Mustang, Fox body Mustang lips into the front and rear to 
trying to create a, our own little version of a, a wide body kit. Um, our customers, guys in New York from uh, MTJ Classic Car, Car Restorations. Restorations, did a phenomenal job. Another thing that's really impressive, especially since they haven't even really done any, you know, lining up gaps or setting in gaps, they shaved the moldings and smoothed them out, and it, it looks awesome. Uh, I can only imagine when the car's in color and all the all the gaps are, are done and, and everything's finalized. They, they did a really killer job. Um, also did a mini tub. Uh, we're gonna try and put some, some wide meats in the back of this thing. Car is gonna be on, on Ride Tech air suspension. Uh, we got a Moser rear in there. Um, undecided on the wheels for now, but that'll be uh, released at a later date. Uh, engine bay chain. This is gonna be the final color of the car. Uh, the more goodies you get in here, the better it looks. Um, we actually got a, uh, a Boss motor in here out of the 2013 Boss uh, with a Gen 5 Whipple. Um, we're we're going to push some power through this car. Uh, engine management wise, we're going with a fast system. Um, we're actually going to get away from the norm a little bit. We're going to do a, a throttle cable like old school instead of the drive-by wire stuff. Um, give John a little better feel for the car. Uh, you know, we're, we're expecting mid 700s to the wheels out of this thing so it's uh it's going to be a fun car a uh, lot of power but you're going to be able to get in it and drive it anywhere you want um it's going to have air conditioning heat all the creature comforts um of, of a newer car with the the looks of a, an 81 fox body mustang so it's going to be awesome um we have upr uh front suspension for the cane member um got a new hydro boost setup fair master cylinder um, a lot of power by the hour stuff. They've been great to work with through this. They really know what they're doing. They've done a lot of research. It's their drive system for the Whipple to fit specifically in a Fox body. Um, and as you can see in here, you know, a lot of people did a lot of homework. There is not much room for error. Everything is uh, is really shoehorned in here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get the wiring done. Uh, we got Fox locks going in it. Bad head garage air conditioning components. Uh, the, the list of, of companies that, that are involved on this uh, and have been a big help are, it, it's more than I can remember off the top of my head and everybody's working together really well um, to, to see this thing come to life. And it's, uh, you know, maybe hard to vision now, the, the end product, but uh, I know there's a drawing floating around that, that gives you an idea and uh, th this car is going to be something special. Um, again, it's not your everyday Coyote swap. Um, that's... I'm not going to say it's easy to do, but it's uh, it's not this. Um, this, this car is going to be one of a kind in, in many different aspects of the day.